Angry villagers protested the raid, which they claimed killed 17 of their neighbors. U.S. forces say it killed 15 enemy fighters. Incidents like this one threatened the whole U.S. mission, and top U.S. General David McKiernan knows it. How are you going to stop killing Afghan civilians? That's very, very difficult to say you're going to avoid any loss of civilian life. That hard truth is at the heart of an information war raging in Afghanistan. The Taliban claim to show how brutal U.S. troops massacre innocents. The U.S. military says, in fact, 80 percent of Afghan civilians are killed by the Taliban. And they fight back with their own video. Here, 14 children on their way to school meeting a suicide bomber. But there's huge frustration that any time the U.S. military is honest about its lethal mistakes, that's used against them. This interview will be leveraged by the Taliban. They will use it to well, say sure. that U.S. forces kill innocent civilians, when the truth of the matter is they do. Well, you both do. We try to avoid it. The insurgent does it on purpose. Up to 30,000 U.S. reinforcements arriving in Afghanistan will bring the total international force to 70,000. So violence is bound to escalate. The danger is that Afghans will then be persuaded that American soldiers and not the Taliban are the enemy. If we say, well, it's too hard, what is the solution to that? Just to stand back and let it become a failed state? U.S. success in this complex war depends as much on controlling the message as deploying the guns. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, Kabul.